All right, what's up everybody? Today we're actually gonna be doing a full reinstall on this unit right here, which I'm pretty excited about. It's been about 14 days for me and gotten a lot of use out of it. Sweat a lot, been to a lot of CrossFit classes. So uh, basically what you're gonna to need today in order to follow along is you're gonna need some solvent. So I'm using C22, which is like a, this is basically going to help the adhesive debond from my scalp in the unit so it's gonna allow it to come off so that's what you're gonna need for the first part after that you're gonna need some Dawn soap you're gonna need a straight brush like so you're gonna need your tape or liquid adhesive ideally you're going to have a mannequin that you can put your unit on you're gonna want shampoo and conditioner and I think that's about it so let's get started okay so step one is we're gonna actually try to get the hair system off so what this is going to require is taking your C22, what I'm going to begin doing is I'm going to pull up on the front of my hair system. Now you can see when I do this, it comes up a little bit, all right? Now, fair amount, but that's honestly because there's only tape right here on the outside. Now that's great um, because it makes it super easy to do this, but eventually I'm going to hit a point where eh, it starts to, you know, Okay, so I'm here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to spray like this. And from here on out, I'm basically going to grab the unit by a lot of the hair. And I'm just gonna gently pull back, not a lot, nothing crazy, just enough to move things forward. And I'm not tugging really, really hard right now. Only a little bit. Just do a little more. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the hair. Spray in the unit. There we go. Mm. Oh, so it hurts a little bit because I have, I didn't get it perfectly lined up on this side right here and the adhesive is caught in my real hair a little bit. But we're gonna solve that in a minute. It's not gonna be a big of an issue at all. All right, so we are almost there. Mm. Okay, we now have the system off. All right, so the next phase that I'm gonna do right now is actually clean off the unit. So let's take a look at this right here. So you can see all of this stuff right here, right here. If you look at the unit, it's a cross section. And then all around the perimeter, I have tape going on. So what I'm gonna do is gonna remove all that tape right now, just get out of the way. The easiest way to do this is really just simply um, find a place that you can pick and you can start getting the tape up and then it'll start to peel up. Don't be super hard on the unit. It'll just start to peel. Um, now, after I do that, I'm gonna clean off the unit, but we're gonna start with this, I'll show you. So let's see if I can, I can find a place right here. All right, one second. Okay, here we go. So as you can see right here, I'm starting to get some of the tape that is starting to peel up. Now, what I'm gonna try to do is get underneath it, like so, we're almost there. Now it's easiest if you can get it kind of at the edge of like a seam, like somewhere that you taped. But if not, you just kind of cut it in half. So now that I have it like this right here, what I'm just gonna begin doing is peeling it like so. And it comes off pretty easy. Um, now what you can do is you can just put it down on your counter or if you so desire, you can put it inside of a, um, a paper towel. I'm gonna do that after. For now, I'm just gonna put it down on the countertop and then I'm gonna collect all of it later. So this stuff is gooey, as you can see, it's like a, it's a really like yellowy color. And that's in part because I sweat so much in the gym and you know, it's part, it's part for the chorus. Not a big deal or anything. Um, but that's also where smells can come from too. 
um, because the sweat gets trapped in the glue and bacteria starts to form. So um, I do this basically every 10 days more so for hygiene now than I do for um, replacing the blonde, the, the bond, like the blonde. Um, I probably could have gotten another couple days out of my unit. Um, it came up easy, but uh, on an average, like in the day, it doesn't move like I can style my hair. It doesn't peel up or anything like that. I would even be fine sticking my head out the window. I wouldn't worry about it. So, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna finish doing this. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. All right, so I've gotten all the hair, or excuse me, I've gotten all of the adhesive off of my unit, at least like the main tape. As you can see right now though, um, it's still a little bit messy. And if I do this, you can see that there's, there's still some adhesive. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to apply dish soap onto the bottom of this right here and I'm gonna start rubbing it down. So uh, I'm literally gonna take dish soap that's been watered down a little bit and I'm gonna apl apply it to the base and I'm gonna start like massaging the base of the unit, being sensitive. Um, but ultimately this is gonna loosen the bond of the adhesive to the unit until I get to a point where it's clean. So let me show you. So now I have gotten the bottom of the unit clean, so we're gonna take a look. All right, so as you can see really closely, it's very, very clean. There's no adhesive. If I do this right here, there's no stickiness to it. My hand just kind of like lifts right off of it, uh, which is a good sign. So the next step for us right now is going to be to uh, finish cleaning the unit itself. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to uh, first apply a layer of C22 into the hair itself, plus some Dawn soap. That way, if there is any adhesive inside of the hair and the unit itself, um, that'll actually help remove it and get it out. And then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shampoo and condition it, so. So as I'm doing this, I'm being very, very gentle on the hair. So I just came into a knot right here. And what I'm doing is I'm actually helping detangle the knot. Lost a couple of hairs, but I was being very, very gentle. And that's what you have to do with these units. I'm not forcing the brush through the hair whatsoever. I'm literally just combing it through. Now we're just washing all the C22 and all the Dawn soap out. Because what we're going to do next is we're going to shampoo and condition the unit really, really well. All right, as for the next step. We are going to shampoo and condition the unit. Right now we have it nice and clean. Um, so, take a look. You can see that it has been, we've gotten all of the, uh, all the knots out of this unit. And now it's about to be shampooed, clean really well, and then condition it. All right guys, so now I have my unit set aside. It is shampooed, conditioned, and uh, we're about to dry it. All right, so now that we have this conditioned, clean, all of this stuff, what we are going to do is we're actually gonna dry it off. That way it's getting ready to reapply the adhesive. So for this phase right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna need a towel. So get a small towel, something like this right here. You're gonna lay it down. You're gonna place it inside with the towel, and then you are just going to roll this puppy up. You're not gonna squeeze it too hard. Um, rolling it up a nice little and then we're gonna let this sit well i hope you guys enjoy that uh as you can see this is the result after uh i think it turned out really really good i haven't um washed my hair because i'm about you know 10 hours after replacing the hair system right now so i'm waiting to shower but uh so it's a little bit crazy and stuff like that but i think it turned out really good and uh, yeah, guys, so if you want to see more content like this, just let me know and I'll keep on bringing that stuff for you. And please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that kind of stuff. And I'll keep all of this content coming your way. All right, take care.